Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to recover your Pinterest account. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, I'm on my iPhone. You can do the same steps on Android as well. I'm gonna open up the Pinterest app, and I'm gonna hit login. Now on here, if you do remember it, you can enter your email and password to be able to log in, or you can hit continue with Facebook, Google, or Apple if you have those linked to your account as well. But if you don't know that, say you don't know your password, you can always get it just by tapping forgot your password right here. It will pop up with a thing. I'm just gonna search for my name here, Trevor Nace, and hit search. And there is my account. So I can hit send here and you'll see email sent. We sent an email to your email on file. You'll be able to use it to reset the password and to get back into your account. So this is your option, essentially, if you just need to log in, maybe you deactivated your account and just need to get back in, or you basically forgot your password. However, if your account was suspended, all I did to go to this was typed in, uh, appeal Pinterest suspension and go to this link. If your account was suspended for basically for violating some kind of community guidelines, then all you have to do is go down and appeal an account suspension. So it says, if you think we shouldn't have suspended your Pinterest account, get in touch with us. So I'll tap on that link here. It'll ask for your first name, your last name, the username of your suspended account, the email address associated with it, and whether you have access to that email. And basically just enter in all of that information. It will go through the process of asking you more information about it. They should get back to you within a few days to help you get back your account so that you can log in, use it like normal, Hopefully you'll be able to provide all this information. Potentially they might ask you for something that verifies you are the owner of that account, basically verifying your name and your email address and all of that stuff. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.